Welcome back guys to another Elden Ring video. Today we're looking at Commander Nile, one of the worst boss fights in the game. Very difficult. That's the reason you're here. Because he's an asshole. <laughs> it's a poorly designed fight in my opinion because of the two summons. I just think it makes it a little bit unfair. Um, but that's just my opinion. Now my, as you'll see my vigor and health and everything is, is high. I'm like 130 or something here. So I'm over leveled for the fight. Which is what I suggest you be. I, I really think you should be over 100 for this fight. If you're below like 80, don't even bother, in my opinion. <laughs> now what you want to do is target this guy on the right. He's going to be the one you want to take out ASAP. Get the shield up and use that charge back uh, move where you press R2 as soon as he hits. It's a really effective move they added into this game. And now I've taken him out. Now what you want to do here, do not take out the shield guy. The shield summon. Focus on Commander Nile and bring in the Mimic tier. If you don't have the Mimic tier, highly suggest you get it. It's in Nocron. Please get the Mimic tier. Look up a guide if you don't have it and buff him up. Big, big help in the fight. He's actually going to take out the shield guy for me. Really helpful. Really great tactic here. And I'm going to work over Nile while he works over. So it's a bit of a tag team we've created here. Now look at the blood loss I affected there. I highly suggest the shield sword combo with blood, um, whatever it's called, blood effectiveness on your sword, okay? Now this wind up move, get away whenever he does this, because if he hits you with that, immense damage, okay? Immense damage. I don't play this fight all that well, to be honest, guys. I get over the line because of my stats, I'll admit that to you, but... I'm going to show you exactly what you need to do in the fight in terms of his patterns to annihilate this absolute C-bomb, okay? Again, when he's got that staff coming down, you need to get the fuck away, okay? Anything with wind is going to create immense damage. The reason why I've got the shield guy up at the moment is because if you make it a 1v1 fight, he goes into the lightning stage earlier. Yeah, you'll see the lightning stage come in very soon, which is a really aggressive stage he goes into as a boss. But now he's still at a normal fighting sort of style, which makes this first part a lot easier. And as you'll see here, I'm not really doing this that well. If you dodge at the perfect time, you can get one hit, dodge, one hit, dodge. But as you'll see there, the blood loss again. Now he's turning into the second phase. This is where he turns in. See the lightning's come in now. This is definitely the harder part of the fight. That's gonna, you have to dodge that or you're done. It's so much damage, right? Now, he's taking out the shield guy, the Mimic tier. So that's fantastic. But he's gonna get taken out. And he's done his job. He's done his job. He's, a, he's been a valiant supporter. And help her look at the damage I've been able to get off because of the mimic tier. He's really helped in the fight. Okay, now I'm going to work him over here. Now I'm going to slow down some of this footage so you can see the patterns at play. Do not get frostbite damage like I did there. Most of most of you would have died there with the damage I just took. Let's watch it. So he comes in. I've gone way too early, but I somehow still dodged that. Um, Go in for some damage. He hits me, because I didn't get out of the way. Look at the damage. Hits me. Comes in. Dodge. I try. I have to heal there. Apparently. <laughs> okay. Let's uh, let's play forward. Let's watch this. So the wind up. That move, you're just going to perfect the timing on this. Okay? Let's watch it again. He does a little wind up. And then he'll come in. Now dodge. You, you just got to get that timing just right. Don't go too early. Hold off that little bit longer and you'll be fine. Now don't go for two hits as well after that because you're going to get hit again. Let's continue the fight here. Really got to be patient here, guys. Played very patient. Do not go aggro. It won't work. I've tried. Trust me. Even with my stats here, still... Now, he'll get into this sort of pattern where he does all these attacks. What you do is you dodge, hit, dodge, hit. Depending on your endurance, keep an eye on it. But, I'm, again, I'm not playing this fight perfectly. I'll, I'll be the first to admit it. 
bit of opportunity there when he finishes that combo to get a couple more strikes in. Now let's see what he does here. He's winding up. Again, I, did, I just did this too early. Let's watch. I needed to hold off. Watch. I go now. No. Needed to wait one more second before the dodge. And then I could have got one hit off. Let's continue on here. He's, he's pretty low. But the nerves start to hit. And it only takes a couple of hits for you to die. I know your health's not going to be as high as mine. A lot of you. So I'm trying to cater that in to, to um, what I'm saying. Dodge one hit and run away when he does that right dodge one hit run away let's watch again ready dodge get one hit off and then run away i'm only doing two two six damage you could probably get more off than me not doing a hell of a lot of damage running in dodge hit dodge hit dodge i'm not capitalizing on this at all and I haven't used that much endurance, really. So what I should have done here, let's watch it again. One, dodge, one. So I'm going all right at the moment, dodge. I should have hit him again here, but I, I rolled too far away. Dodge, hit him again. See, I've missed, I've missed a shot there. I end up getting two on him there. Dodge, and could have got another hit there. Which I do get, okay. So I did get a couple of hits there. That was actually quite effective. More effective than I thought. But there could have been some refining on that. Watch this wind up. Ready? Dodge and hit. Could have hit there. I'm playing so patiently, so nervously. You can tell. The nerves do get a better of you because you've been playing the fight for an hour and you just want to beat him. And you know you're close. The nerves get a hold of you sometimes, you know. See, look, I'm just whiffing things. It happens. And if you, you know, if you have any other concerns, guys, leave them in the comments. I'll, I'll try to help you out. Hit, dodge, hit, dodge, hit, dodge. Here we go. Get out of there. Get out of there. Beautiful. Let's watch this again. I'm replaying that fight. One, dodge. One, dodge. One, dodge. One, get out of there. Get out of there. Get out of there. Because <laughs> that's going to be big damage, yeah? Then he follows it up with a bit of a wind-up. We know how to deal this. One, and get out of there. See? Now I'm starting to really figure him out. And now I know he's low. See, this is how you should be doing it. Roll into him better to roll into him in the middle way. I know it's scary, but it's going to be better for you to get hits off. And then I end up finishing him. That's it, guys. Hopefully that helps. Uh, I really know he's, he's a pain in the ass. I 100% know, guys. But hopefully this helps you guys out. With that being said, it's been my pleasure. I'll see you in the next video. Take care, guys.